An Aksya Bonagat, also known as Saab for short, originally built aeroplanes. Over the last several years, Saab has established a stronger foothold in the international car market. Two years ago, the Swedes, who are now a GM subsidiary, presented the 95 station wagon, and the elegant estate helped Saab achieve constantly better sales. This trend is set to continue because of a revolutionary five-cylinder engine concept. We intend to reduce engine size through a combination of variable compression and supercharging. That means we'll combine low fuel consumption with a performance comparable to that of much larger motors. The great thing about this engine is the combination of very small compression space with a very high charging pressure of up to 2.8 bar, achieved with a supercharger. The good performance is perfected by the ability to alter the compression ratio. We use a very high compression ratio for driving in the city and on secondary roads, which saves fuel. But the greater the pressure on the accelerator, the lower the compression becomes. That is what makes this new engine concept so innovative. It means, with high compression, we can mobilize up to 305 newton meters of torque and up to 225 horsepower. We carried out an exclusive road test with the first prototype of this new engine, and the Swedish roads were ideal proving grounds. Considering the sound performance of the 9.5, it's hard to believe that the motor only has 1.6 liters of displacement. Statistically, the 9.5's engine clearly outperforms the company's standard 3-liter V6, which, according to Saab, gets 21.3 miles per gallon. The new engine gets 28.5. This 25% increase is a technical wonder and shows clearly that the idea behind it, deemed impossible just a few years ago, still has enormous potential. Another advantage of the so-called SVC system is its adaptability with respect to alternative fuel, a factor which will open many possibilities for Saab, including the use of a direct injection system, an innovation that could mean even better gas mileage. At this point, however, Saab engineers don't want to speculate on just how much better. The fact that this vehicle is still a prototype is clearly noticeable. Mechanical noises coming from the variable compression system can be heard constantly in the interior. And it's precisely this point which makes development work on new technologies so time-consuming, taking care of all the details. Saab plans to take plenty of time to correct these flaws, meaning the car won't be available for another three to four years. But the Swedish manufacturer has succeeded in making us very curious.